If you own a concrete coating business and you're struggling to close more jobs, then I invite you to watch this video. Okay, so before we get into this video, I want to explain what it's about. What we actually do is listen to some of our clients' calls to make sure that the calls are going smoothly, even if the, if the leads are going well and if they're good quality leads. And during that process, I realized that there's been some struggles on the phone trying to deal with people and understand what it is that they're trying to tell us when they're talking to you on the phone. Much like a relationship building uh, you know, situation, whether you're at a coffee shop or a bar or whatever it is, trying to get a relationship started, if you start talking about yourself, the game's over. So what I decided to do was create some videos, and this is going to be all part of a series, uh, create some videos where I can provide some tips and tricks on how to overcome some of these things on the first initial call. Um, obviously, I can't necessarily help you with the on-site estimation type situations, although there's some strategies for that too. But this will be um, a game changer for you only because that's the very first time that they ever um, get to talk to you. So this first initial call and conversation is the one that matters the most and will be the deciding factor on whether or not this company is going to or this person, sorry, is going to um, buy from you. So enjoy watching the video and let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. This one's probably so far one of the most favorite calls that I have listened to. Um, what I like about it is it's very natural. There isn't a lot of like sales pitchy stuff in it, but at the same time, there was the right kinds of questions were asked and the delivery of how you sell yourself and sell your services was quite good. Um, I really like it because there was just a human element to it. Um, I think in the beginning of the call, it was a bit slow trying to pick up things, get the computer loaded and, you know, loaded up stuff like that. I think it was caught off track. But aside from that, this is the kind of call that needs to happen. And of course, not all these calls are going to be the same. There's going to be some difficult conversations, right? But this kind of gives everything, um, explains the process, explains why they are different. And he had to overcome a little bit of the price part of it as well. So. I really want to share this one because I think this is a good way, a good example of what to do when you're dealing with these calls, right? So let's take a listen to this and, and go from there. I think that was uh, required uh, for uh, an estimate on a uh, Get the epoxy and the garage, two car garage. Oh, yeah. Uh, how are you doing? Good, good. Good, yeah. Um, so, you're letting me get it done. Um, you said this is for garage floor? Yeah, I think it's uh, what, what is normal garage? Uh, was it four, 400, 475? What's the standard size for garage? Um, is this a one car garage or two car garage? Two, two car garage, two car garage. Yeah, it's probably about 400 square feet. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's about 400 square feet. Okay. Um, yeah, I could definitely help you out with that. Let me just pull up the computer here for you. This was the part right here. It was a little, um, little weird. Sorry, let me sign in. So I'm going to pause on that. Just one thing I would recommend if, you know, and I know it's always tough in the beginning, but you know, you want to make this as professional as you possibly can. So this is the only thing I'd probably recommend on a call like this is it's kind of like that waiting period for somebody who's called in, like they, their time is valuable too, right? So I think anybody who is assigned to answer these phone calls need to be ready. You just need to be available, need to have your computer open, need to be like, you got all the details you need. Um, I also recommend a script, put a script there so that you're answering the right questions. Because as you already know, most of the things that they're going to say is the same, almost over and over and over again. So there's no reason why you can't create a list of things like in a script, like when they ask this or they say this, you can say this, even if you're the owner, because over time, what's going to happen is it's going to just be easy, right? You're just be able to resp respond back with the right answer, with the right statement, whatever it might be. 
and then the flow happens a lot better and then you're asking the right questions so then you can start asking the open-ended questions and really start getting the information you need um, as opposed to just immediately starting off and just like bragging about your business right which is something that he, he does not do here and we're going to listen to that next and is there currently anything on the, the garage mm, what do you mean like uh like, like any, on any the like, board yeah is there currently any like coating on the uh on the garage or nothing like a concrete nothing. Right now? okay just concrete just there because i have a i mean whatever fell from the because they, uh, you know, when they drywall, they have the what is it that the mud that fell on the ground? That's about it, but it's nothing major. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is what we specialize in. So, pr primarily, we do residential garage floors, so we can definitely take care of this for you. Um, typically, how we like to, to operate because this is kind of a it is an investment, so we like to come out and give you a quote in person. Um, I can bring some okay. color samples so you can choose and get a feel for what the material is. Um, so if we can plan a time, I, I'm, I'm happy to come out and, and give you a quote. Um, do you have a time that works best for you? Yeah, I'm off on Mondays, and I can be there. I work uh, Tuesday through Saturday, and I can only be at the residence. Uh, between 12.15 and 12.45. It shouldn't be more than 30 minutes, right? Yeah, super quick. Um, like I said, I'll just I'll take some pictures, take some measurements, um, and I'll bring you um, some samples so you can so you can see and choose color. Um, so let me look at my calendar here. I can do it. I can definitely do it next Monday. Monday. Sorry, I made another call. Let me send that to voicemail. Um, you want to say 12.15 or 12.20? Yeah, 12.20. 12.15. So clearly the customer is already in a higher buying mode, but hey, this is an example of what you can get from like Facebook leads, right? If it's done right, you're going to be able to get these kind of leads. And this is one of the major conversations that we have uh, when we actually, uh, when I have my discovery calls with, with prospects as well, when I want to bring on new clients, uh, we talk about this stuff because a lot of times people think that these these leads are are you know not very good they're weak leads they're not but really at the end of the day it's a matter of how you handle these calls and how you handle the prospect that matters he went right into yeah we could totally help you out we're going to be able to do that for you you know um it's our we, this is what we specialize in so you know we're going to be able to solve this problem for you uh, what day is good for you monday wednesday morning afternoon get right to the point get at it like don't don't trail off into these different tangents. Let's just get this. Let's just get the estimate appointment booked. And that's the point of these calls, right? When this, you had the very first call with a prospect, whether it's you calling them or them calling you, the very first call um, needs to be focused on selling the appointment, not the job, the appointment, right? That is critical. Okay. And what was your name again? Perfect. And what is the address of the property? On this one. Monday at 12:20. Um, I'll come out and uh, I'll be able to give you the estimate right there. Um, and then I will send you just a confirmation email, just so you know you're on the schedule. Confirmation email, um, confirming but the dates. If you have any questions, you could uh, text this number or give me a call. Yeah. Um, right when he thought it was good to go, what happens? What's going to happen? It happens probably almost every time. What's the? I mean, what's a, a rough estimate like on price wise? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean quotes. That's why. Yeah, I would say for our process, I'm not sure what the um, other companies are are doing, but um, I would say you're probably looking at at least two thousand for everything. Um, okay. What you will get from other people. Um, so we're a one day install. Okay, listen to this part. Okay, this is really critical. Okay, um, I'm not a big fan, as some of you might know already, of quoting prices on the phone because a lot of times, in 90% of the occasions, you're going to turn them off before it's too early. It's like you meet somebody at the restaurant or a bar. You say, hey, my name is Rudy. You want to get married? It's not going to happen, right? So sometimes it's too, too early to discuss price, right? But in this case, he was able to transition in a way that made it make sense, right? So we didn't give a range. We didn't say, well, it could be anywhere from $2,000 to $10,000. We're not gonna know until we get out there, 
right? Really, at the end of the day, he said, you know, it's a, it starts at 2000 which at 400 square foot, two-car garage is only $5 a square foot. Personally, I you know, especially if it's polyaspartic, I don't think that's very much money, but it's okay to use that as a starting point, provided you can segue into the reasons why you start at that price point. And you can hear what he says here, and I really like this part. This is why I wanted to actually share this call with you guys. And it's a polyaspartic floor as opposed to epoxy. Um, so polyaspartic won't yellow or chip. Um, we have a lifetime warranty. Um, and so the only thing I would be super cautious of is with any company that you look at is just ask them, ask them how they press their floors. If yep. any of them tell you they acid wash it, I would run the other direction. Um, all these floors, in order for them to last, um, need to be diamond, diamond grinded. Um, so that's included on process. Any minor repairs for cracks or holes or whatever is also included. Um, okay. So yeah. All right. It's really See, quality, quality stuff. Okay. We can't assume, and it is not implied, that those little details are they would already know this. So he's putting it all out there. He's just saying, like, listen, all of these like the the minor cracks and the, like, all the you know the divots and whatever it's going to be on the concrete, all the holes. This going to be covered, right? Um, the minor stuff is included in our process, which I really like how he brought that through. So the guy's like, yeah, sounds like this guy knows what he's talking about, right? So I can already hear him nodding on the other end on the phone. Like, yeah, I this is awesome. And I'm looking for a black with like the... With the okay, now he's asking for color. That's a buying signal. Okay, you still don't want to rush this. You want to help them through this journey. A little... What is it, the flakes? Black or flakes? Yeah. Yeah. With, uh, yeah, with a, with a, with a little flake in it. Okay. Yeah, we can absolutely okay. do that. I, I'll bring you a book of um, like the most common ones, and then um, we can also custom order any color that you want. Yeah, and I think the, uh, some of the people I've called, they do the, the epoxy like about what is it, like five inches from the base port up, or kind of like the... Yeah, the stem wall. Stem wall. Yeah, so this is good. Wall, um, and then what kind of... Which, Kind of unique about our service, not a lot of companies do it, is that we'll put like a cock in between um, your stem wall and the slab and we'll round it out so like it's kind of one continuous piece. So every if you ever should want to like wash your garage floor down or clean it, and it flows like, down. You know, it flows like all down into there there's no crack or like water or anything to get stuck under. So it's like really smooth. Um, you know, transition from the okay. stem wall to the floor. Okay. Okay. All right. right. Yeah. Cool. So, well, is there any way you can come out sooner than that? Oh. Uh, than Monday? Yeah. I can, Buying I can, sign. I mean, it just depends on your schedule. I'm pretty flexible. So whatever whatever you think would work. Yeah, I'm free. Like I said, Monday's my day off, which is today I'm not doing too much. So like, I don't know if you guys have figured this out already, but he's making it so easy for them to buy from him, right? So, you know, we have all these great things that make us unique, but at the same time, it benefits the customer because he like turns it in there when they wash the floor, like it all drains down nice and it doesn't get stuck underneath and ruin it. Right. Other things like, yeah, we have these co these colors will bring you our normal ones. Right. Obviously, that would be the ideal way to sell it because obviously you guys should be stocking up on that. Right. But he's like, but we can custom order whatever you want. That's huge. Right. Things like that. And then the schedule changed. And instead of like, oh, well, actually, we're not available until next Thursday. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, you know, my schedule is open, even if it isn't. My schedule is open. You know, we'll book you whatever you want but based on your schedule. Right. Um, also, I'm doing. Uh, Love that. Love uh, that. I mean, I can, like I said, I can be there tomorrow. Same, same time, 12-15, you know, yeah. or Wednesday. Because I got a garage door coming in and I wanted everything to be set by the time I come in, you know, like when the garage door comes in. So yeah, I, yeah. Put some, uh, I have some stuff that I need to put in there. That's why I'm closed. I want to lock it up. Garage door, yeah. So what is the, the, the turnaround time on that, do you think? Well, no, I want to put some, uh, like, some appliances and stuff in there and just lock it up. Because I'm doing some interior work. Oh, so got 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 Yeah, because I can't okay. pull okay. anything out of the, inside the house until the yeah. garage is done. And the garage is uh, going to be here Thursday or Friday, and it's a one-day install. Okay. 
Great. So uh, let me just pull up my schedule here for this week. Um, do you want to do uh, Wednesday at 1220? That's fine. So they, they got it all figured out, right? So that is so like, it's like the best call that you can have, right? You just got to sell the appointment, answer the questions and try to get them to speak more about what it is that they want to do. And you're just like, yeah, for sure. We can totally help you. No problem. Like they feel like, ah, oh, finally a company that I can deal with without any friction, right? Um, it's so critical. So sell the appointment, not the job itself. Don't go too far into the weeds on all of your, how amazing you are, right? But just really just kind of like hold their hand and guide them, right? So that they can be the hero in their story. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Trying to figure out how digital marketing works is like trying to figure out a new language backwards. How do you build a website properly? How do you rank that website on Google? How does Instagram work? How does Facebook work? Should I use Facebook ads or Google ads? All of these things can be extremely daunting for a concrete coding business owner, especially if you're just trying to grow your business. Your job, your responsibility as a CEO of your company is to automate and delegate. Your job is to make sure that everyone in your company is in the right seats. Trying to figure out how digital marketing works, its strategies and its tactics, honestly, it's a complete waste of your time, resources, and money. You need to hire a company that's dedicated to you and to the industry like Floor Coding Marketers. Stop trying to weigh your options, just hire Floor Coding Marketers for your concrete coding business. If you own a concrete coding business, this is your best shot at your success. If you want it three times or even 10 times your revenue, this is the best way to do it.